What's up, YouTube? It's your friend of TG2 here, and welcome back to another, well, another Minecraft video. Today, guys, we have a special update to show you because it includes a very special update for everybody in the Minecraft community. So before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button so you never miss a video ever again. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. So, Mojang and Minecraft Microsoft Studios released a new update just yesterday stating they can now try the aquatic update even though you are using the new update, the full uh, version of Minecraft which we got the 1.2.13 update, which was released yesterday. Mojang let us do, added a special mode called experimental mode. And on this mode, you can test out the aquatic update and other updates to come. So, I have a setup over here to show you what are the highlights of the aquatic update. And we also have a lot of new mobs to talk about. So, um... First thing I want to talk about is um, it's about the aquatic update. So these are um, prismaline stabs, um, stairs and slabs. These were added in the Java edition screenshots. You can try those out if you have the Minecraft PC edition, and you can also try these out in the new update. Um, uh, these are only to be found in ocean moments, like always. And now, the oceans, yeah, they can only be found in ocean moments. So, next thing they added was from the, they implemented it to the, from the Java edition to here, was a uh, stripped wood. So that means that wood can now uh, take off the skin, which sounds uh, really good for building. All you need is just an ax, any kind, and then there will be a button saying strip for uh, Pocket Edition for Windows 10, just right click, and for Xbox, I think uh, Trigger, I'm not sure, hit one of the triggers. But uh, I like the design, I know that the textures are going to change uh, later this year, but yeah, um, we also have a new weapon called the Triton. The Triton is a long range weapon which can be thrown for miles and miles like this. It, can, it takes almost seven attack damage from the player or the mob, which is very actually good, but you might want to watch out for the new mob, which I'm going to talk about right after this. So this can only be obtained from the treasure chest. We do not know other things where it, the, well, not treasure chest. These can only be obtained from the new mob, the Drowned. The Drowned is a new version of the zombie, but here's the Drowned. I'm going to show you, you guys the Drowned. Oop. Well, um, we just saw one just here. This is the Drowned. It's a version, it's the zombie, but it's actually, but actually Drowned. So to spawn a Drowned, you have to have a zombie and bring it to a lake or an ocean at least two blocks deep. Do not make it jump and then they'll start um, choking down the water. It'll start shaking and vibrating. When it does do that, um, you got yourself a drowned. These, each time you hit it, oh, I forgot how, they make like a vomit sound like this. Well, I can't tell to you guys because, um, these are actually very strong, but, um, they're actually very, very strong. And also, they make like a, they make a choking, spitting sound each time you hit them. They drop rotten flesh, but, Mo but Microsoft is trying to make a new update with that, so you can drop like um, something else. But yeah, um, now to move on to the physical features of this update. So, the physical features of this update is actually very good because they change swimming. So, by swimming, I mean like um, swimming. If you didn't see, I was... Um, actually swimming like this so you just have to double uh you have to sp you have to sprint or double jump and then you'll start swimming like this if you see my character on the left hand side he'll he's right now swimming so uh that's a good thing that microsoft added um also um you can actually if you fly you'll even fl this it, wait let me just get first this out if you fly and um swim faster it will actually make it go very fast but the reason why they added this in the update is
is because they wanted to make swimming more faster and more interesting. So, um, they want to make it as realistic as possible, okay? Um, but if you see the oceans filled with gravel, that's going to change in the next beta, which is not going to come out for until after the Java edition gets it. Um, so, so the, the oceans are going to change. You're going to have kelp, um, coral reefs, fish, real life fish. You're going to have um, shipwrecks, ruins. But yeah, uh, all those good stuff. So, oceans are definitely going to change a lot. So let me just tell you a lot. Lakes are going to be impacted as well, except for rivers. Because rivers won't only have salmon. That's one thing. And... Yeah, that's the only things I can discuss for now because the update is not fully released yet. If you do want to try it out, like I said, create a new world and when you create that new world, there's this button called air experimental mode. Let me just show it to you. Experimental mode is this button that can't be turned on. It's only for phones and tablets that actually are suitable for gaming or um, yeah. Um, well, not suitable for gaming, but if it's like a later version, like, um, let's say like a, um, a tablet or a phone from 2015, that can still work, but, um, from 12, 2012, like a bad tablet or a bad computer, that's going to be unstable and it's going to crash your game, so I wouldn't recommend that. I recommend that you can wait for the update, or if you have another version of Minecraft, try it out. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do hit that like button and subscribe button so you can see more of these betas. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!